T-shirt help us. What's up, guys? Gary Agene, T-shirthelpdesk.com. Make sure you go down and click that subscribe button and click that notification bell. And if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, follow us so you'll be notified of all this great information we have on the T-shirt industry. All right, guys, if you know anything about heat transfer vinyl, is that a lot of times the stuff can look a little boring, one-dimensional, um, stale. A lot of stuff is just like uh, team, like team names and numbers. And it could be really kind of boring. Even when people use them for like, you know, regular t-shirts that they want to sell, there's not a lot of imagination. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can really add a lot of uh, dimension, a lot of vibrancy, and a lot of layers, keyword layers, to your heat transfer vinyl t-shirts. And not that I'm saying it's better than, equal than, greater than, less than, or any of that stuff, but you can make heat transfer vinyl look just as good as screen printing, DTG, custom heat transfers, sublimation, all that good stuff. So without any further ado, let me show you how to do it. All right, guys, these are our two artworks that we're going to make T-shirts for. And you're going to notice something. This is not your basic, like, jersey, okay? These are actual, like, kind of, well, at least I think, kind of cool-looking uh, T-shirt graphics. And you can see there's a lot of different colors. And this is going to be what's called layered. And in order to layer, you can't just use any vinyl. What I'm using right here is Scissor or Sizer Easy Wee Vinyl. They also have the uh, Scissor Stretch Vinyl, which are fantastic for layering. And really briefly, just to let you know, what that means is that you see all these colors right here each one of these colors that you see is going to be a different vinyl so you're going to have to have some skills in terms of breaking up your artwork so that everything that you see is a different color this is broken up into you can separate the brown from the black background to the blue to the white so each one of these is going to be a separate vinyl Okay, you print that on a separate vinyl. I'm going to show you. And this one right here, you separate that white from that pink of the tongue from that's going to be a really cool gold, right? From that background to those eye sockets to that cone. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six vinyls. But the great thing is that you can print these all together. Like these, these two right here, these two backgrounds can be printed together. All right, these two blues things right that could be printed together and let me show you over here how this is broken up you can see right here that i have it so that two blacks are together I, there's some other stuff like my logo i'm printing too all the whites are together all the blues are together the browns are together that tan is by itself the gold and the pink all right everything is together and what i do is i simply i like to just make everything black and then let me show you something you see right here all of these different artworks for the chocolate bar those are all black so i can just put those in the software which i'm going to show you and let's just say for the cone every single thing right here they're all black okay so let's get into the software right all right that software is silhouette studio and it actually comes free when you buy a silhouette okay so we are cutting the black vinyl then we're going to cut the brown vinyl you can see the brown artwork now we're going to cut the white vinyl you can see that right here let's get to that ah cut 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 all right and that's the blue we got the the uh the bar and the little sockets it's cutting it's cutting all right that's the tongue which we're going to cut out on the pink right here you're going to see it chop 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 and that's those gold teeth the gold teethus and that's the cone now, after you have your graphic cuts, you're going to have to weed the vinyl. No, not weed like you little miscreants might be thinking about. Weeding is something different. Let me show you. All right, now weeding, this is the process where you pull off all the excess vinyl and you have your art. That was the back. Now, that's the gold teeth. 
those are those blue eye sockets in the chocolate bar wrapper. And that's the tongue. All right, that's that brown chocolate. And these are all the pieces right here. We're gonna make a t-shirt, baby. Now, after you weed, you are ready to print, all right? It's just that simple. But guys, this is not just slamming it down with a heat press. We are going to be layering, okay? So there's a little bit of uh, finessing that goes into this. And to do that, you're gonna need a quality vinyl. I am recommending Scissor or Sizer Easy Weed to go along with your Silhouette printer. All the links and all that good stuff are gonna be right down in the description box, so make it happen, cap. All right, so this is the first black background for the chocolate bar. Uh, you just place it down, and we're gonna slam that bad boy down, and we're just gonna tack it for like one or two seconds. All right, peel that up, and let's get to the next part, which is the blue wrapper. We're gonna put that, gonna place it, okay? We're gonna just gonna place it down and then we're gonna tack that one. Peel it up. And let's get to the next thing, which is gonna be our chocolate. Right there at the top, tack it down. Peel it up. Now we're gonna add our white highlights. All right, tack that down, all right? Add our pressing sheet and there it is. All right, and on this one, we're gonna do it for the full about 13 seconds and bam. Peel that, and you got yourself a t-shirt, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Fresh and clean, baby. Fresh and clean. Chocolate like a mug. All right, hold on, hold on, guys. That was one. There's more, okay? Because when you're layering, you're taking your t-shirts to a whole nother level. Let's get into that ice cream cone. It's really simple. We're going through the process again. You know the routine. You just put down every color, the black, the white, the cold teeth. Love that part. The tongue. You're going to add the cone right here and the little blue of the eye sockets right there. And bam, look at that. And that's not screen printing. You did that with a vinyl cutter. Now let's go over here and look at the both of these bad boys. All right, so there they are, both of them. Look at all the color. Now that does not look like your standard vinyl cutter t-shirt at all. That looks like a screen print, doesn't it? I mean, that's just awesome and they, they feel great. I mean, it just really uh, blew my mind at the quality of these things, especially this one. I mean, this is just amazing. Just rubbing on it right there. And what really takes it to a whole new level are the gold teeth. Now let's get back to me talking. All right, guys, that's all I got for y'all today. That's all I can stand because I can't stand no more. Anyway, check out the Scissor Easy Weed paper. Make sure you go and check out that Cameo Silhouette Vinyl Cutter. It is awesome, man. That thing is changing my life. And of course, you know what I'm finna do. I'm finna put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door. Do something good for somebody. If you don't have anybody to do something good for, do something good for yourself. Cheers to your t-shirts. Start a business or die trying. And I am out. And how long is my damn outro? Anyway, peace.